In this tutorial, we'll show how easy it is to link your clippings on newspapers.com to profiles you've saved in family trees on ancestry.com. Whenever you see this green Save to Ancestry button, you can link that newspaper page or clipping directly to someone's profile on Ancestry. We find that many of our subscribers clip wedding announcements, obituaries, career information, photos, and other items of unique interest about ancestors and family members, so now you can save these articles directly to your family trees. Let's use an example in this edition of the Daily Times of New Brunswick, New Jersey. There's a small article about my great-great-grandfather on the front page. I could save this entire page to his profile in my family tree on Ancestry by clicking the Save to Ancestry button, but with all the news on this page, it would be much more relevant to go to the clipping itself and choose just that item. Here we have our clipping of that small article from the Daily Times and a Save to Ancestry button. Since we definitely want to save this clipping to a family tree on Ancestry, we'll click the button here and see where it takes us. First, we're asked to log into an Ancestry.com account. Then, from this drop-down list, we select the tree where we want to save the clipping. Next, we begin typing the name of the person to whom the clipping should be attached, choose the correct name from the list that appears, and then press Save. Now we're given a choice to either close the window and continue searching on newspapers.com, or we can view the profile of Alonzo Page Peak, the person we attached the clipping to. If we choose the latter, we're taken to his profile page, and we can scroll down to see the link under Source Information on the right side of the page. It shows up as a citation link using the paper's title on newspapers.com. The image of the clipping is not added to my ancestor's profile, but the link is. Click the link and we return to newspapers.com where the clipping appears. Now let's link another article to Reverend Peake's profile by selecting this clipping, which says he spoke at a Rutgers convocation in 1893. We repeat the same process, except this time we're already signed into Ancestry. We choose a tree and a person, save it, and now let's see how this second clipping from the same newspaper appears on Ancestry.com. We'll scroll down once again to source information and now find two citations from the Daily Times on Alonzo Page Peak's profile. To see which clippings make up this citation, go to the Facts and Sources tab and click this Source Citations button. Now we see links not only to the records we've discovered on Ancestry, but also to the two clippings we attached from newspapers.com, complete with the details we added to our clippings. If we choose a link here, we will see more detailed information as well as the web address of the clipping. These links are a great way to share information between newspapers.com and ancestry.com, but sometimes you may want to attach the image of a clipping. Let's use another example to show how to do just that. Abraham Pra Provost is my third great-grandfather and also of New Brunswick, New Jersey. I've already attached an article to his ancestry profile. As you've seen, when we click the link, it takes us to the clipping on newspapers.com. Here we see the 1892 notice of his death. Now let's download the clipping using this option, which generates a PDF file that you can save to your computer. Next, go to Ancestry and the Media Gallery. Since we have a PDF file, we can't save it as a photo, so let's add it to Stories. Click the button on the right to add a story, and then choose to Upload Story from Computer. After we find the file we want to upload, we see the status of the upload, and then we can add details to the media if we want to. Then save it and here's the link to the PDF on this Ancestors story page. If you know how to change a PDF file to an image file, you can do the same thing under the Photos section and then upload a JPEG or other supported file type using the same process. And now you can see the JPEG file on the Photos page as well as the PDF on the Stories page. Of course, we still have the link back to the newspapers.com clipping. Never has it been so easy to bring all your sources together in one place. Save to Ancestry directly from newspapers.com.